recording? Alright, I just downloaded a different software um, to see what would happen, um, to see if it would improve the volume at all, because I just made you guys a video, which I will post, but um, I like was shouting into the microphone and I couldn't hear myself at all, even with the volume turned all the whole way up. You guys might have better speakers than I do. But, you know, I just spent all that time just kind of just talking, and it didn't work at all. So I thought, okay, I definitely, definitely have to get rid of ManyCam. So I'm, you know, recording on this and hoping that it's better. Um, as you can see, I'm dyeing my hair uh, purple in the front. The pink faded to a really, really ugly color, and um, I didn't like it, but I really love the mixture of purple and turquoise, so I'm probably going to keep that for a while. Once this green fades out that's in the back, it'll be turquoise, and I hope it kind of dies soon because, honestly, like, see how I'm wearing my Kingdom Hearts shirt? Um, well, the whole reason I'm wearing, like, this shirt, I mean, I love this shirt, but the whole reason that I'm wearing it is because it's black and if I haven't been wearing like either a black shirt or a green shirt this hair has been dyeing my shoulders green um, I was lucky enough to get it out of a white shirt that I've been wearing but it was one of my favorite white stripy shirts and yeah it was green and this hair dye has never done, it bef done that before but it started dyeing things green. None of the other hair colors on my head were doing that. But this one was, so, um, yeah. It had to go. So, once it's out, it's out. Unless I use it on my bangs, I'm not going to use it, because I don't like the fact that it dyed my clothing. You know, you shouldn't have to worry about that. Um, but the ironic thing about me dyeing my hair is, um, my roommate and I and a couple of friends were going to go bowling tonight. And I was told yesterday that she was probably not going to go bowling now, so I thought, okay, well, I can spend the rest of the night doing my homework, which is, um, like, box design thingy. Um, spend my night doing my homework and dyeing my hair, because I leave the dye in about three to four hours so that it really stays, because, you know, if you do that, it'll really stain your hair. Um, the turquoise, I've washed my hair like five times this week, and the turquoise has stayed like really, really super well. So have the green, but yeah. So when you keep it in for three to four hours, it really stays. The problem is, is that we were supposed to go around six or seven bowling. It's six now, and keeping my dye in probably till about nine-ish. So I'm going to have to go to the bowling alley with the dye in my hair. Because I didn't know that we were still going. So. Yeah. Anyways, um, so yeah, basically I'm just reaccounting the things that I was saying in the other video, hoping that you'll be able to hear me better. Um, another thing I did is I'm promoting a girl who basically she's just really good at making candy, and she is pretty much who I learned off of. Um, I made this bracelet, you know, pretty cool. Um, but here's one of the designs that I made using a tutorial of hers. Um, it's a Pokeball. Um, I also learned to do Penguin from her. I made mine purple, but hers was, um, hers was black. Um, but yeah, um, I also made some stars. They're pretty cool. I really like orange, if that wasn't obvious. Um, but yeah, I learned from her. I learned a lot from her. Um, her name on YouTube, I don't know it exactly, but I know that it's Ocean Rose. I don't think it has a number after it, but it's Ocean Rose. She has a lot of cool designs. I've made pretty much all of them except for like the vampire cuff because I knew I wouldn't really wear it. But yeah, her and um, Ginger Candy, who I learned to make this bow from, they are really cool. Um, Ginger Candy actually just like explained that you can use stitching line too. 
for things that you don't need to have, like be stealthy, which has actually saved me because um, searching around is much, much cheaper, and I was just using up stealthy skins a lot, so now I'm, I'm really picky about <laughs> how short my captain is, but it's typically not short. And um, I've actually learned from Ginger Candy how to follow candy patterns, so I was able to make a Pinkie Pie cup. And if you guys know, I'm like really, really in love with Pinkie Pie. But here's the cup. Um, I did make it out of fishing line, so it's not stretchy. And I made it too small for my wrist, so I kind of made it like a corset type, lace up type cup, which I think is super cool. I will eventually make like stretchy cups, but I like what I did with this one. I probably won't wear it a lot because um, I don't particularly like this type of thickness. I like my cup like a lot thinner, but you know, I am in intending to cosplay Pinkie Pie eventually and I will definitely wear this. I actually made it out of two colors besides the balloon. I made it out of her mane color, or mane and tail, and her body color. Because I thought that that would be a really cool balance. So, yeah. And I actually did mess up. Um, I was going so fast bringing them across here that I missed, like, a bead or two, two rows down. And I had to wrap everything around to get that bead in. It's actually this bead right here. But, um, you know, I was able to fix it. So I'm learning a lot about how to even just, like, fix my mistakes. So that's pretty cool. Um... Yeah, my next cuff that I want to do is there's a Navi cuff that I got the pattern from, but it requires an awful lot of glue, so, <laughs> excuse me, I think I'm doing broken. So I'm going to have to wait till I can get more beads, and I need more money to do that, because I wasted, well, not wasted, but used up my money to get this. Touch it because I actually bought a broken one. So, but it, yeah. This is really awesome. Um, yeah. I think the only thing I said in my other video is I, um, I have the Sonic Master Collection. I was talking about that in an earlier video. And it also has Sonic 2, not just Mean G Machine. And when I was nine, I made it to the Metropolis third zone, but I could never get past the Robotnik with the spinny ball things. Um, but I used up, I had like 12 lives plus a continue. So I pretty much threw like all but one or two of those lives facing Robotnik and learning like the pattern and made it to Sky Chaser zone. And that made me extremely happy because that's as far as I've ever gone. And I really felt like my nine-year-old self was, like, <laughs> much more awesome than me, so that I would never, ever get past that part. But I did, and it was awesome. But I probably won't do it again for a while, because it was also kind of stressful. But yeah. Um, man, I could talk for a long time. But I'm going to end this video, because all of my videos are always super long, because I never shut up. And not a lot of people watch them. But I'm happy for those who do, and I'm happy that I'm entertaining you with my babble. But, alright, um, yeah. I guess I'll just say goodbye, and I hope that you all have a very joyful day. See you later.